Well, hello and uh, welcome everybody to the webinar. My name's uh, Peter Downs and it's a great pleasure to uh, uh, welcome you to this webinar, Top 3 Technologies to Help Your Sport the Now and the Future. I can tell you that we had 75 people register for this particular webinar, so uh, that's great. That's good numbers for this particular webinar. Uh, and welcome to people. I can see people joining uh, as I speak. Uh, the webinar here. So welcome, everybody. Uh, we anticipate going for uh, about an hour uh, tops. Um, I'll try and keep the guys um, to the hour schedule. Um, please uh, do send in your questions as we go. I'm about to show you how to do that. OK, we do want to encourage you in this webinar. We have a lot of material to get through in this particular webinar. Uh, a lot to show, um, a lot to get through, but we do want to receive your questions uh, as we go. We have a question and answer session at the end of the webinar uh, that myself and panelists will uh, uh, address at the end of the webinar. But if we don't get time for your question, then don't worry, we will answer it post the webinar anyway. So please do send your questions. How to do that is quite simple. You simply use the questions box on your control panel there, type in your question and press that send button. If by any chance your control panel disappears, it just minimizes itself sometimes after a while. Just press that little orange button uh, that you see on the screen there and uh, you should be able to retrieve your question panel. But do send them in as we go through this webinar and we will address them either at the end or post the webinar as well. OK, just a reminder, this is the fourth uh, webinar in our series. Um, we've got two more to go on August the 1st and August the 22nd. I can tell you we've had 409, 409 registrations for the four webinars so far, which is fantastic. Um, very good. Uh, there are two more coming up, presentation skills for people in sport and making sports safer and inclusive about play by the rules. Um, so please do register for those if you haven't already uh, and encourage your colleagues and friends to do as well. But this is the fourth in our initial series. OK, how's this going to work? I said we've got a, a lot of content to get through. This will be a fun webinar. I'm going to... Uh, host the webinar. I'm also going to chip in as well. Um, I have got a bit nerdy over the last uh, two or three years, as my colleagues will attest. Uh, so I'm going to chip in with some technologies around sport that I think are underused and really useful for sport and for the future. So I'm going to host, but also um, have my say as well. Uh, also, a great pleasure to welcome Keith Lyons, who will introduce in, in just a moment to you. And also, Jean Shembury. Now, I'm a bit nervous about, in some ways, this webinar because uh, Keith and Jean are two of the smartest, uh, most creative people I've met in a 25 year career in sport in this country. So uh, I have to um, try and uh, get, pick my act up with Keith and Jean here. Um, but you're really in for a treat, I think, over the next uh, 45 minutes or so to, to really listen to uh, some of the thoughts of Keith and Jean around their top three technologies, uh, top two for now and a third one for the future. Um, so please get those questions coming in. This is a good opportunity. OK, Keith, I am going to unmute Keith right now and let him introduce himself so you can hear his dulcet tones. Let me just do that. Keith, can you hear me? Yes, I can, Peter. Uh, th thank you for that <laughs> build up and uh, hello, everybody. Um, I came on this webinar really to say that if I can do this, anybody can. And I thought I'd just introduce myself by saying that for the last five years, I've been exploring digital resources for coaches and for NSOs. And I've signed up for virtually everything that's appeared in five years. So uh, I'm, I'm keen to, to talk about some of these issues today. But the last five years is, has been about using digital resources. And, and I've got three 
lines really. One is I think our future is assured by connecting and sharing. My particular interest these days is in aggregating and curating information for others to use and I'm going to talk about two of those resources today. And my tip for the future really, I wanted to really stress and press home the idea that if we can capture something once in our busy lives, we can use it an infinite amount of time. So my whole presentation today is linked to this idea about sharing, but doing it once in many different ways. So thank you for the introduction, Peter, and I'm looking forward to the conversation. Great, thank you. Thanks very much, Keith. And we will come back to you very, very shortly. Could you just explain, well, I've got you there, what's Clyde Street? I think people might be wondering, what is Clyde Street? Um, it's where I live in Mongalo in rural New South Wales. And, and why I use Clyde Street was that it actually has no bandwidth at all. So it takes hours to connect to the internet. <laughs> There's no digital phone. And it, it made me think that if we can support people in situations like Clyde Street, then the future is very bright for all of us. So Clyde Street is a beautiful street in the gold town of Mongalo. <laughs> Great, great. I, I thought I knew you'd have a story behind that. We actually hooked up with uh, Keith and, uh, and Jean yesterday, and Keith was sitting in a car park in Bungador, which I'm sure he might refer to uh, as we hooked up for the rehearsal here. So we're everywhere, omnipresent. Thanks, Keith. Okay, I'm going to unmute now. Uh, Jean, Jean Shembury. Uh, Jean, can you hear me? I can, loud and clear. Excellent, excellent. Jane, could you uh, thank you, Peter, and give yourself a little thank you, introduction. Peter, and hello, there. everybody. Mm -hmm. um, I've just finished an enjoyable stint at the Australian Sports Commission after many years, and my work there was in coach development and sport education generally. Um, I had a role in the establishment of the learning management system, and we'll talk just in simple terms about that a little bit later and uh, had a role with the community coaching course, the beginning coaching course, which Natalie Menzies at the Sports Commission tells me has had almost 200,000 learners enrol with something like a 60% completion rate. So that's just absolutely exciting. And more recently, the last bit of work I did at the Commission was working with national sporting organisations to look at their overall technology needs and we would do the initial scoping and our expertise would uh, uh, run out uh, fairly quickly and then we'd go out and buy some consultancy expertise to take that, that the next step. So uh, that's me and now I'm doing some uh, consultancy work in the area of e-learning and enjoying that very much. Thank you, Peter. Brilliant, brilliant. Thanks, Jean. You're coming through loud and clear there. That's just great. Great. Okay, we'll come back to you in a in a tick, Jean. Uh, also, I want to mention to people that we have Catherine Duff uh, in the background here as moderating. So send in your questions. If you have any general questions about the webinar or the technology or anything, then do send them in. We've got Catherine, who you'll hear from a little uh, later behind the scenes answering those for you. Okay, first of all, we'd like to do a quick poll so we get a, an idea of uh, who is online. It helps us really uh, engage the responses, engage our presentations to who's online. It's always interesting to see that the mix of people that are online. So I'm going to launch a poll now that you'll be able to see on the screen. You ought to click in the buttons in the poll and vote uh, in the poll. So it's saying, are you from a national sports organization, a state territory sports organization, a government, could be local or federal, local club association or other. If you could vote now on the screen by clicking into one of those areas, I can see we've had 80% voted so far, 90, coming close to 90%. I'll keep the poll open a couple more seconds. We've had 92% voted. If you could just click on one of those, it will really help us. Have a look who's online. Okay. Five more seconds. We're close. 
Okay, I'm going to close the poll. And I'm going to share those results. And we can see uh, online here, we can see that uh, actually majority, that's interesting, majority actually from government. Yeah, uh, we, don't, we don't have any from national sports organizations. I saw there were quite a few uh, who were registered from national sports organizations. Uh, but the majority here from government, um, some from uh, we've got other, and 23% from state territory sports organizations. So that's good. Thank you very much for, for doing the, uh, the poll. It does help us sort of gauge um, how we present this particular webinar. <laughs>